Surrounded by the beauty of the majestic White Mountains, in fact, on a clear day, you can see the Mount Washington Observatory, the Mountain View Grand Resort beckons travelers with luxury accommodations and old-fashioned homespun fun. It's beautiful. You can see 57 different peaks from the property. The presidential range right over there is just it's gorgeous. Located on 1,700 acres, the resort offers year-round activities for all ages. There's playgrounds for kids and massive areas you can play sports. Axe throwing, our history tour, guided hikes. Uh, we do landscape painting class this time of year. If you don't want to do anything, you can just sit on the veranda and enjoy the view. If you want to do something, we have a lit full list of activities that happen every day. So much stuff for the kids to do here, so that was our biggest draw. I like to just relax and enjoy, and I, I just, it's nice, again, that I can just come, Mommy. we can take a walk, you can stare at these absolutely breathtaking views, and Swimming's just the best! <laughs> Swimming's the best! Swimming's the best! Swimming's the best. <laughs> The Mountain View Grand became an inn by accident, really. The year was 1865. Two men were traveling from Montreal to Boston when their stagecoach broke down late one night in Whitefield. They walked to an old farmhouse and asked if they could spend the night. Gave them a place to sleep, fed them dinner. In the morning, the storm had cleared. They saw the beautiful 365-degree view of the mountains, smell of breakfast coming up from downstairs, and they were like, it's a pretty nice spot you have. One year later, William and Mary Jane Dodge opened their inn, calling it the Mountain View House. Generations of the Dodge family operated the resort, building additions, adding a golf course. The resort becoming a destination for the powerful and famous. Presidents Harding, Coolidge, Cleveland, both Roosevelt's and Eisenhower. Eisenhower stayed here quite a lot. Four generations later, the Dodge family sold the resort in 1979, but the new owner failed to make the Mountain View a success, and the bank foreclosed on the property in 86. The Mountain View sat empty for 16 years. There are animals living in it, teenagers breaking it. It's a miracle it didn't burn to the ground. That's pretty incredible. In 1988, a new owner came along and put $20 million of renovations into the resort. In 2002, the Mountain View reopened in its former glory. There is casual dining in the Harvest Tavern, as well as fine dining in the dark and intimate 1865 wine cellar table surrounded by 6,000 bottles of wine, from inexpensive to extravagant. Very nice wine. we be selling it around for $785 here. Paired with the menu that changes with the seasons, spring is the time for mushrooms. Head chef Nate Varney creating what he calls the forest floor. We have a local forager that works with us. As the seasons go along, we'll get um, our forager will come to the back door and say, hey, you know, porcini's just came in a season do you want some? And we'll say yes, and we'll buy 10, 20 pounds, and then we'll change the menu, and we'll put it onto this dish or a similar one that it would go well with. Finished with a fragrant broth and a really cool effect. So this is made from burnt apple wood from our farm, as well as some juniper branches that come from out in the woods. <laughs> to the farm. The resort has a working fiber farm filled with sheep, angora and Nigerian dwarf goats, alpacas, llamas. Our new pal Clover, the sheep, even posed for selfie. What we do here is we obviously shear the animals about once or twice a year. And then what we do here is we do arts and crafts down here with that yarn. And people come down and they do wet felted soap, felted animals. A popular pastime, I had to try axe throwing. It's kind of our signature activity. I guess it speaks to some of the logging industry that we've had up here, but I mean, really, it's just fun. A few practice swings, aim high, and... Right 
After that unsuccessful effort, time to soak the sore muscles at the spa. A private infinity pool at the Tower Spa with outstanding views from every angle. Perfect following one of the spa's signature massages. You can relax in the lobby while you plan your day or head up in the elevator. Well, this elevator has its own story to tell. Oldest elevator in the state. Indeed, the oldest operating elevator in the state of New Hampshire. It's from 1931. It's actually 86 years old this year. Here you are, second floor. The rooms and suites are spacious. Many have balconies overlooking stunning views of the mountains. Off the lobby, there are sitting rooms and libraries where you can curl up with a good book and check out the old pictures and memorabilia. And of course, relax on the veranda. I think we really do a good job of that, letting you just, you know, put the phone away and just enjoy your surroundings and, you know, what the resort has to offer, which is, it's a lot, it's a special place. 